Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out new and free plugins for Figma, which will take your designs to the next level using the power of AI, custom styles, thousands of UI elements, and so much more. So let's get right into it. The first one is called AI Rename Layer by Ethan. This is a person who's been making some really cool plugins lately. And until we wait for Figma AI, which will be able to rename all the layers automatically for us, this is a plugin you should absolutely get. As you can see, I have a bunch of layers and frames that I've built right here quickly just to show it to you. If I press on run, these frames right here have generic names like frame one, rectangle one, things like that. If I select everything on screen, I can select hundreds of screens on, go to the plugins and say AI rename layers, it will automatically do the job on the left live. As you can see, it's typing in everything for us. Main frame, secondary frame, content box. But this is really cool because what is on screen and now this isn't as good as Figma's AI, which is about to be released by next month, but this is still pretty good. Ethan has another plugin which is recently launched called AI Text Generator. You'll be able to add text all over your designs which is relevant. So if you have a list of names, it will automatically add names to that list. Again, all of these tools are completely free. No sign in or sign up required. Okay, so the next one will allow you to import a lot of cool stuff inside Figma. It's called Codia AI. PSD to Figma. In this case, you'll be able to import Photoshop files into Figma. That means all those mockups, advanced level designs, etc. that you that you find in Photoshop libraries, you can import all those elements and edit them inside Figma, just like you would do in Photoshop. It has a very simple interface as you can see here. I just need to upload any file that I have. For now, I have downloaded a realistic mockup that you can see again in the background as a PSD. I click on that, select that, and it starts scanning my Photoshop file. Within 30 to 40 seconds, it starts importing all the elements that was there in the Photoshop file here, and everything here is easy to edit. For example, this pencil, I just click on command on my keyboard or control on your windows. Now I can change things like the color of the pencil from here, as you can see. If I change the color, it changes the color of this Apple pencil right here which I think is super neat. You can add your own mockups by highlighting whatever image is here. Very, very impressive because no other plugin has been able to do it so smoothly and so nicely, just like this one. Crazy thing is it can import one GB files as well. So a heavy Photoshop file can easily be imported as well. Now this next one isn't really a plugin, but a creator under the Figma Creator Fund called Double Glitch. And he's been creating these insane level of advanced prototyping examples. For example, this cursor tracking tutorial plus file allows you to track your cursor just like this here on screen, as you can see right here in Figma, no other tool needed. The same one goes for this parallax effect that he's been able to achieve all inside the Figma Creator Fund. Just like this, mouse effects that you couldn't achieve before in Figma are now super easy to achieve. Let's just say this is absolutely insane what we can achieve just inside Figma. Check out all the resources that Double Glitch has created, a lot more stuff that you can find on his profile. Now for the next one, we've seen plugins that can import website designs into Figma before, but this next plugin takes it to the next level. Web to Figma allows you to paste any website and it allows you to import it in different sizes, desktop, tablet, mobile. And if you have the pro plan for Web to Figma, you'll be able to import things like components, icons, styles, variables, everything. As you can see, I put in twitter.com. It's actually saved it in a particular collection for you. Basically also imported it into a collection for you as well organized everything, labeled everything, as well as suggest fonts, which Twitter is using. So you can just click on fix it and you'll have the fonts that Twitter is using right here. Another really good thing is that everything is labeled for you. If you can see on the left, there is button, there's div, there's icon, there's group. So everything has been labeled perfectly. Once you've saved it to a collection, you can actually, and it saved all the collection right here, you can add it at any point of time. It also has inspiration. So it has its own unique library. And if you want the pro plan, you can get it for free just by sharing it on LinkedIn and Twitter. And this will give you three days of free pro. So in that, so in that time, you can do a lot of stuff and you can try the plugin out. Google Fonts is finally here on Figma. Well, kind of. This unofficial plugin of Google Fonts is here from by Color Creator. 
दिस गाइज हैव क्रिएटेड अ वंडरफुल प्लग इन दैट ब्रिंग्स द पावर ऑफ गूगल फॉन्ट्स इन टू फिगमा फाइनली टू वॉट एवर प्रोजेक्ट आई एम वर्किंग ऑन इफ आई हैव अ टेक्सट हियर आई कैन क्विकली रन द प्लग इन यू कैन सर्च अ फॉन्ट फैमिली दैट यू लाइक ऑन गूगल फॉन्ट्स ऑलरेडी यू कैन फिल्टर एंड सॉर्ट एज वेल एंड यू कैन स्ट्रेट अप इम्पोर्ट वॉट एवर टेक्स यू वॉन्ट बाई सेंग क्रिएट टेक्सट and it will create this text right here you will have to of course get the font from google fonts but luckily you can just get it by clicking on get font and you just get the font and it will open a new tab in your browser with the font right here and if you like it just save it <laughs> right here now there are a lot of other cool tools inside this one plugin things like image picker palette creator gradient palette so a lot of cool stuff with colors that you can find right here talking about ready made assets slide ui is 10000 plus premium high quality ui kits assets different kinds of elements that you can just drag and drop into your figma figma will become half as difficult or much easier than it is right now as you can see i can select light mode dark mode free assets everything from here i can then also choose whether i want desktop or mobile assets i can then go ahead and search for things like testimonials menus features so whichever one i find useful i can always just drag and drop and it gets pasted into my figma canvas cool thing is everything inside here is inside either auto layout or it's inside a frame that has been generated right here for you once again very very high quality the drag and drop feature is very cool so it just appears right here and it's so well organized <laughs> took me 10 seconds to design an entire ui how cool this next one is from a figma legend himself vijay verma stippling stippling is the perfect tool to add these insane level graphics that you can add into your ui designs and even create for graphic designs poster designs etc right here in figma i have imported a png image of this apple logo right here and as you can see immediately starts working it's magic you can add spacing so you can the lesser the spacing the more detail this design will look you can even increase or decrease the type of bubbles right here that it's creating Uh, and of course you can increase or decrease the brightness of the actual image in this case i can then click on generate and it immediately generates a new frame for me and organizes everything for me of course i haven't done a very good job have i but uh, if i had done a good job as you can see i would have gotten an amazing result i'll show some examples in the background you need to take some time to actually work this out and see how it works for you now just like vijay there's another amazing creator called angelo libero who is a mastermind behind a lot of cool plugins like super palette super snapshot and super gradient so if you're a figma user you probably know these but he's just launched something called super mesh gradient as you can see looks like its own individual tool now inside here i can drag all these pointers and that will change the position of each gradient. Now look at how amazing this works. You can preview everything like this. Not only is it applying a gradient, but it also adds that texture to it that is needed. You can change the shape of these gradient blocks to triangle, circle or rectangle. As you can see makes a lot of difference. You can increase or decrease the number of shapes. You can even change the grain from here as you can see. The noise becomes different. You can export it as a small image or a large image right here inside Figma. Super powerful, super nice works as you've planned. As a bonus feature there is a save option so you can click on this plus icon and this will add it as a preset. Now Inima weird name but very useful plugin is the smarter than smart animate plugin that you can get now this can not only cut your animation or interaction times in half but also make advanced level animations easy to export as well as organize now i have two frames which you can animate between this is just for example i will quickly just add a quick smart animate by going into the prototyping feature on the top right now just connect the frame 1 to frame 2 and just say after delay 0 milliseconds navigate and in instead of saying instance say smart animate now whatever time you give it the animation will follow that and just click on frame 1 once again say render animate and as you can see it starts rendering this animation of course it's the, the animation sucks but you can replicate this with any animation you can change the frames per second so you can change it from 30 to 60 in the video 
You can change size, you can change even the speed right here. So you can double it, half it. Of course, at the end, you can export it as frames, APNG, GIF, and CSS Sprite for the developers out there. And this is super, super efficient. Now the same person, Tutu, makes a lot of cool plugins and resources, including the iCharts generator, which generates charts based on the data that you have in Figma, or based on data that you import inside Figma. Once again, just a shout out because these plugins are amazing, but I'm not gonna show these to you. All right guys, that was it for today's video. If you want me to keep on making these plugin related videos, just give this video a thumbs up and I'll know. And for weekly videos like this, you know what to do. Just click on subscribe completely free and click on the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on my content. I'll see you next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.